the GMC Sierra 1500 wiring diagram for the window switch. Here's a switch right here. You can see here that you got the uh, left front. So you got the left front window switch right here. This is our chauffeur's side. Then we got over here the right rear, left rear, and the right front. You can see here the little tab for express, that's when you press on the tab lightly and it automatically rolls down your window or if you want to roll it down yourself completely just hold the tab down, there's down and then there's up, right? It's a ground controlled circuitry right here. You can see here, you got uh, your black coming in, which is ground. Right there, you go down, in, and there you go, ground. So. This is where I made my jumper, right here, to complete the circuit for the data line. You can see here that uh, this guy says, uh, this goes to the driver window motor. Wait a second. Never mind. The, gr the brake was right here. Not here. I gotta fix that. But, you get my point. So, this is the data line that was broken. I did a jumper to it, and over here, and on my other schematic over here, I got it right, but again, uh, I had full power, full ground, and the switch still didn't work because I had a data line here that was broken. For some reason or another, this data line does not enable my logic, or my board here, that's what they call it. It's an electronic board. Don't think it's a switch anymore, or a little relay. It's an electronic board in there. There's no way to repair that unless you really know how to deal with electronics. And it's a, it's a pretty small board. I already looked at it. So the gist of it is without this data signal coming into here, nothing here is going to work. It's going to have power to it. It's going to have ground. But nothing here is going to work because this guy here is broken. Again, I, don't, don't look at this. This is wrong. That was my bad. This is the point right here. So without this guy here, we're having this guy broken. My logic would it work. So this guy says that it goes to the computer data line system. So this is my power windows circuit, all right? You can see here that it goes from the fuse, goes down. Let me see if I can help you zoom in. So it goes from a five amp fuse, left instrument panel fuse block, lower left side of dash. So it goes down, you got power, boom, that's battery power. Then you got the ground. And it can have both going there directly, and it still won't work if this if this data data line ain't working right. So when we go to our next schematic over here, our computer data line circuit, one out of five. It's five schematics just for these uh, data lines. So we go from here. We follow light green yellow again, as we saw in the last schematic. It is called network 3, so we got to find network 3 over here. Boom. Network bus 3, linear interconnect. So this guy interconnects, interconnects everybody that has to do with the window, power window system. You got your buttons there, you got your motors, you got everything. Just a one wire. It's a joke, but yeah, just a one wire. So when you follow this wire, Light green, yellow, you keep on going. Boom. Body harness on the left front seal plate. And this is where my jumper was made. Now this one's correct. My jumper uh, was correct on this side, but on the other schematic it was wrong. I, had to, I have to fix that. That means I got to reprint it and do it well for the client so he can understand what happened. And if anything, if he gets another uh, mechanic or electro mechanic, at least he knew what I did and he can keep on going from there if something else happens to that circuitry. So, basically my jumper's right here. There's my driver window switch. This is what was not working. But you can see that I can have this guy connected, but not this guy. That's the problem I encountered on the video of the actual repair. That once I connected my jumper from here to here, uh, I only connected my jumper from here to here. I did not take into account this splice here there's a splice 
So what happened was once I did my jump for the first time from here to here, I didn't have a I my window switch was working for other for the, the other three windows, but not my driver window. Why? Because I did not complete the splice. So I had to splice another wire from here to here, and that was it. After that, everything was working fine. Back in business. So this is what you gotta look out for. This is the type of schematics I work with. And this is a sort of in-depth, sort of looking at it a bit deeper. What I had to have on hand to get this job done in a timely manner. Or else it was going to be days of work. But yeah, here's the main power for all this uh, data line stuff. You have your data link connector, lower left side of dash. So you got a fuse. And then you got all these wires going everywhere. So you got on these wires, you got right rear, left rear, outside rear, passenger window switch. I mean, everything is here. Heck, you even got, no, never mind, this is separate. But yeah, this is what you got to basically look for. So, yeah, pro demand. This is stuff I gotta work with, and it's when it's specifically electronic stuff. So, summing it all, all up, bad window switch, no, bad wiring. The harness was broken, and this is wrong. It's over here. This is the problem right here. So yeah. Hopefully, this will be a bit of a help. Uh, I don't think you guys can take a screenshot of that, but at least you got some idea of what's going on. Let's take a peek at it. Screenshot as best you can. I mean, I really can't do much about it. But I give you guys an idea of what's it's, what what it's it what it's like for a for an automotive electrician nowadays to deal with a car now. So yeah, hopefully this will be a bit of a insider for you guys to understand. Hope you guys have a nice day. Hope this helped you out. All right. Till the next one.